Hello and welcome to episode 27 of my Two Worlds 2 tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be doing the quest Unexpected Danger. I'm going to start though by trying to improve my uh, damage output. Um, before that though, after at the end of the last episode when I finished uh, the quest for Nalta, he gave me another bow and <clears throat> he just started talking to me and gave me another quest. So I went and checked on... Um, Oh, what's the other guy? Rodgar. And he also gave me another quest. So I got <clears throat> Nauta's Bow and Orcish Nightmares. Now, Nauta's Bow is in the next land that we're going to go to, the next island after this island that I'm on with Bayan and Hatmandor. Once you complete this island, you go on to the next island. So that should be a, a warning to you about this Orcish Nightmare quest. Because the Orcish Nightmare quest is actually, if I click on it, is on Ulsana. And previously I mentioned about Argud's cave that I found. Well, that quest, Orcish Nightmares, is in Orgard's cave. So my warning to you is do not attempt to do this Orcish Nightmares quest <coughs> excuse me, until you're strong enough to go to... Uh, the next island to do basically all these quests so make sure you're powerful enough to kill the creatures to get to uh, this next land before let's show on the map in actual fact <clears throat> make this simpler oh no I said map right so yeah there's where I'm currently on the continent or island whatever you want to call it this is the next continent or island and obviously the creatures are a lot stronger there so this quest that's on Ulsana is the same it's going to be a strong quest you I don't you don't do that touch that quest yet that orcish nightmares right okay anyway so back to what I want to do oops first of all sort out my damage at the moment my spell is a single firebolt which does 592 damage but we need to improve that because that is nowhere near enough <clears throat> we need to do max damage or at least as much as I can figure out so if I click on the firebolt you'll notice that these next spell cards underneath the first set I've unshaded I've unlocked don't know whether that's due to my level I presume it must be but that's what we're going to do. So we have my first, this first line of the spell, which is just a simple carrier. It's a missile. If I come down to the second set, what I can do is make this area effect. So when the missile fire spell hits, it will then use utilize the second band, which you're going to see now. I'm not going to make it fire. I'm going to make it a different effect because some creatures have, as you know, resistance to fire. So when you make a spell, make your your um, missile and your area effect different because that way you'll cover more resistances. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to go with air because I've got so many spell cards for it and fire. And over here we need to set it to area effect carrier and up here we need to tell it it's damage so it's going to be doing damage now with this let's so let's just okay that now you're going to see that it's missile 592 fire damage and it's area effect 102 shock damage but that ain't enough no not by a long chalk so what we're going to do we're going to go back to this one and we're going to max it out there we go. Now we're going to OK that. And let's have another look. There we go. Look at that. Now we're starting to talk. 592 fire damage and 335 shock damage. Now that is cool. But we still want to improve that. So, OK. Now we're going to go to our skills. I've been saving up some skill points. Um, I'm tempted to do some health, really. Um, but let's do some of this first of all, my willpower, because that boosts your damage as well. Let's see, 
let's go back to magic, see what that's 627. So I'm nearly at a thousand damage. Um, also, I purchased a uh, one of the skills that I was missing. I didn't even realize I hadn't got it yet. So when I see it in the shop, I bought it, which is battle clarity. Uh, so click on that, come back to my skills. And down here now, you'll see battle clarity reduces casting mana cost. So that's a very handy one to to have. But what I want to do is increase my fire mastery and my air. Actually, what's that on? That's on seven. So fire, air. I've got three points left. I'm going to save them. Uh, let's see how many how, how much health. Where's my health? How much health have I got? Oh, there it is, six hundred and ten. Mm, I'm so tempted to do my health a bit more, but I'll keep the health as the same as my level. So as I gain a level, I put a point in each time. So I'm going to do it in here. Give me more, as much maximum damage as I can get. Okay, if we go back into here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 848 fire damage, 380 shock damage. Now let's see if we can do this quest without dying too much. Because this quest that I'm going to do, you get swamped by enemies. Um, right, let's bring it up to show the quest I'm talking about. So it's for the Society of Majors Guild, so that's why I want to do it. Unexpected danger. Took a request from a letter pinned to the bulletin board in the Society. Woman and her grandchildren are in danger from a pack of rhinos who have caught the scent of blood. She's taken her grandchildren to hide in, hide in a cave. Can't wait long if I'm going to save them. And you'll see I went to the horse charmer's teleport and it's just here. So let's go and see how I get on. Hopefully I've got enough damage. And rhinoceros are the least of our worries in this quest, I can assure you. Right, so it's just over here. There always seems to be a few more to kill. Uh, it still takes two shots to kill him, even though I'm doing that much damage. Uh, right, okay, so there was a rhinoceros, and there's some more. These are the ones apparently terrorizing. Oh, there we go, I've got an update. Found the cave, but where are Asala and her grandchildren? Oh, that's dead. All my mana. I need to be concerned that my mana... I knew there was a reason I was saving the points. Right, okay, so that's all my points used up. I hope that my mana...
Right, okay, well, I'm not, what am I even worrying about them creatures for? Let's go in here. Here's where it's at. Okay. Right, I'm going to do a save. Now, I might have overstepped my mana, as in my pumping up my damage is going to cause me not to have enough mana to pro do my normal uh, just barrage of spells. But here we go. So we've got to go in here, and this is where it's going to get nasty. Yeah, so as you can see, tough dungeon. Let's try again. Even with all what I've done, you can still get wiped out. You can see why I had to ramp up my damage. Wonder where this leads. Yeah, so I should be doing good damage. <coughs> Dead before I could even. <clears throat> Try again. Wonder where this leads. Now, it's a shame I can't. Get somewhere, there's, there's so many of them. But if I could climb somewhere, maybe to give me. Let's try that. Maybe that's what I've got to do. Oh, no, definitely not that. Again, because I did like the way it was. Oh, they're coming up. Ooh. No. Dang it. <sighs> Let's load in again. See, there's no room to run, as you can see. If I didn't keep falling off of here, I might be. Okay, this just a jump it is so annoying. Ah, oh, I've done it, right. Okay, I've now growed me yet. Yeah. Oh, this is better. Right, this is how you do this dungeon. <clears throat> oh, look, they're all dead. I held so many because they were clustered together. That area effect kicked in. Oh, there's another one over there. And there. Yeah, they just gank you here. 
Right, now I should be able to manage. Oh, maybe not. Maybe there's still too many. And they've come to my little hiding place. At least they're kind enough to wait for one another for their friends to finish attacking before they try and join in. Oop, better heal. Now I didn't kill him, he's just waiting down there. Yeah, I'm still getting in there. It's the area effect that's getting in. We didn't like that. Let warned you. Right, let's see now. That's some good loot. Yeah, so you can see this is a tough dungeon. Not one that you can think about just going head on into them. There we go. Right. The guild letter was a trap. Look around the cave. You can say that again. We did them. But wow, you need to be so powerful to kill them quicker. Lots of good loot though. Wow, that was a slaughter here. Right, I think there must be a chest or something. It's still set. I've got to find because it said to look around. Cool, so how many times to reload to do this dungeon? Oh, basic. Right. There we go. Yeah, so I've got to look around, see, what, is it in this chest maybe, what I've got to find? Ooh. Oh, nice, look at that. Free skill book. Very cool. Oh, an old key. Damage modifiers. That is annoying, because I just bought one of them at 900, so I wasted a bit of money. And there we go, Sauldron's Orders. Found orders from Sauldron. So, if I, let's have a look at them. Maybe that's what I've got to do. Let's learn that. Definitely. That was nice, getting that for free. Right, where's Sauldron's orders? I'm getting so many bits of paper now. Oh, there we are. This order's come down directly from the crown. You will make camp and lie in wait with insight of the cave near the old mage's guild hall. The emperor's activist will aid you on this top secret mission and has already for fabricated some requests for the mage's contracts board to lure any adepts in hiding out of the woodwork. This is our hour in the sun. The mages destroyed their chance for a future when they rest resisted his benevolent rule. When someone approaches the cave, no matter how weak or small they may appear, kill them. Our emperor also wills that you may enjoy your work. <laughs> enjoy the killing. Right, there we are. So, found a key. I'm going to check the quest log next. Found a key which hopefully will let me escape this place. Alright, so now I've just got to escape. I think this is nothing up there. Yeah, I really hate the jump in this. Really hate the jump. Yeah, no, that's just nothing. That goes nowhere. So that's it. All cleared out. Now I've got to go hand in. Get the rewards. Oh, your reputation in society guild increase. Cool. Uh, oh, I missed what that other message said. Okay, so there we go. 
it may have took me a few tries, but we did it. I did it in the end. I'll end the episode here as well. I've got to figure out now what I want to do for the next episode. But it's gone now from my quest list, so maybe I can get another quest from that board. Or maybe I've finished the boards. Maybe I need to try and do this quest next, Merchant's Guild. Hello, we'll see. I'll have a think about it. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.